So when you leave from head today, if someone asks you, well, well, you know, my grandmother had Parkinson's disease. Oh, yeah, she has mucus in her brain. Look, here, some place in her brain that need to be removed. But my uncle is suffering with arthritis, where he has mucus in his bones. But what about my cousin? He has AIDS, but he has the mucus in his lymphatic system, his blood and his skin. But what about my mother? She's going blind with the mucus is on her eyes. And anywhere that mucus concentrates, it leaves the name of the disease. And the mucus only comes when you have ingested something that did not belong in your body. And if you want a beautiful test, try this one, and then you'll see. Stop eating for 21 days. Just drink water and juices, and if occasionally approved or so, just don't eat anything. At the ending of 21 days, you're going to feel very good. You're going to feel very healthy, strong, and light. And then you go and sit in front of some fat bag and a glass of milk. And you're going to be sneezing, and your nose is going to get tight. In fact, many of you sitting in here, noses get tight already. I will sit all the way from here and hail a little baby with mucus in his chest. The little baby that she's holding. The white mucus in the baby's chest. You see how young that baby is? And the, and the baby already has mucus in his chest. Of course. Now imagine that baby holding that mucus in his chest without someone reaching out to really have that baby. That mucus would be there until time immemorial, eating away the lining of his chest.